what is up welcome back to the channel guys this past weekend my goodness oops sorry this past weekend has been amazing time with everybody if you don't know now you know nationals was this past weekend and man what a doozy just hanging out with friends seeing this uh other content creators just seeing you know the community you know coming to one place man it's just man I, man I love this dragon ball community and stuff but um yeah it's this this weekend it's just been a great weekend you know but um you know we gotta get back to the grind i just got off the plane or about just a couple hours ago about four four or five hours ago and um but you know you know you gotta put some content out um but uh yeah let's get into it we got the market watch our first market watch right after nets uh oh yeah shout out to Duval for winning back to back you know what i'm saying and uh Kentarsi coming in second but um yeah man this past weekend has been great and uh you know shout out the team everybody everybody i know you know you guys know you guys know but anyway let's get into it guys we have all of the delusions of powers from the draft box for they are up in price guys this these cards are just really great utility cards for each different color but mainly for uh blue blue and red right now and i mean yellow we'll get to yellow and green not so much of course because it's green but yeah shoe Delu uh, deluge of powers for these are all right these are common common pieces are going for about five bucks each um for each copy of the um uh, non-foil versions then you have the foil versions 28 dollars if you have a foil uh foil uh shoes okay so as you can see five to six bucks well five to seven dollars for each copy of shoes then if you have foil versions they're going for about 28 dollars for shoes but if you go for trunks um they're going for about four the about four to six dollars for each copy and let me see how much the foil ones are that these are wrong <laughs> nobody's nobody's going bodies for this amount of money but uh let's just say those are non-existent okay <laughs> but yeah if you got foil ones just go ahead and sell those and just keep the uh common ones because you know common ones are just really really cheap so well not really cheap but cheap compared to the foil ones but uh yeah four dollars for non-foil trunks deluge of power and um this one's uh seeing play also like especially in sin because uh you know sin likes to hit hard and stuff like that but yeah the extra 10k power for free it hits hard you know especially if they put that crit on the dissension runs ridiculous it's stupid but anyway let's continue we have the green sun goten delusion power not seeing too much play in green decks um but yeah this it's green <laughs> a dollar about a dollar fifty to three dollars for each copy of um sun goten delusion powers then lastly we have fascia delusion powers they're going for about two two to four bucks for each copy uh i can see this card actually being played because um it is a barks crew card and you know barks crew is a deck you know uh the new i want to say new but the the zenkai leader bardock leader um you know resolves around the bardock's crew and you can know you're able to search out fascia in within that deck so uh let's see how much the foil ones are yeah those those are fake prices guys those are fake prices don't buy those for those prices okay but yeah um fascia's you know two to four like i said all right let's go ahead and go for oolong greed is good greed is good you know greed is good uh each copy is going for about 10 to 11 dollars um really good card really solid solid card uh you know We've seen it in play at nationals. I've seen it been, um, this past weekend going for game left and right. It's card. This card is just amazing for what it does. But yeah, Oolong Greed is good going for about 11. Uh, this card has actually been, this card has actually been this price for a while now. So I actually don't think this card has been hyped up as much. Uh, this card is just a good, generically good card. And this card has been always been that price. So yeah uh yeah 
<laughs> Son Goku Faded Rivals SPRs are going for $15. My guy, this card is actually being bought out right now. Um, I know there was a Son Goten player that uh, topped this past weekend. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he played a couple copies of this card. But um, yeah, $15 for each SPR um, Son, Go um, Son Goku. This is a staple green card, guys. So whenever green becomes, you know, pretty decent and pretty good, I'm pretty sure it, you're going to play this card. Um, the oil prices of this card, like last month, they were, they were about like $6 right now, but they've doubled in price right now and they're about $15 for each copy. So I would say, get each get the spr sun goku fate arrivals and the goat and the piccolo the piccolo is really cheap i'm gonna compare to the goku so i'll say go ahead and pick the the playset of each i won't say playset go ahead pick up playset if you want if you want you know what i'm saying i have a playset but i don't i never played all like all four copies uh bar the origin of the legend i just want to highlight this card because you know this price is really down for this for the secret rare you know what i'm saying uh this secret rare is actually pretty good um you're able to splash into uh, several decks right now but the lowest price right now is only what 67 68 bucks for each copy of um Barak origin of legend that compared to the the god rare version of this but yeah this is really uh cheap for a secret rare so if you want a cheap version uh, a cheap uh, secret rare that's actually pretty decent. I will say go ahead and pick up the Bardock Origin of the Legend. Really, really good. Uh, SSB Kaioken Son Goku United Divinity. Man, this card was the card this weekend. Really, really great um, secret rare. Untapping all blue, mono blue energy. And, you know, just attacking, attacking, attacking for game. This card just basically resets your turn. And, uh, you know, this card came out of set one technically because it has the bt1 you know one 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 right there but uh yeah um this car is shot up in price just a bit i think it was yeah it would I, I would say this was like a good 140 but you know right now lowest price right now is one uh 154 155 and as you can see they're going for 160 170 after that but yeah ssb kaioken son goku really really good and technically this card got a reprint this past weekend because of the um the winnings uh for the side event cards and just for topping nats uh you got the serial number um uh version of this so i, I think there's 600 of them and you know you could you're able to get like 100 out of 600 it's it'll say it on the card but yeah uh that's a great pickup also hopefully we get maybe um a price on that maybe later down the road but yeah really really good uh card all right so we have cell awakening of the created this is just a rare from dawn of the z legends and uh yeah non-foil ones are just three bucks three bucks for um, each copy of cell z battle card then if you want to go to the uh, foil versions the foil versions are going for about six to seven dollars for each copy but you know this card is a one this card is argu arguably the best z battle card out here um right right now in the meta so um if you don't have your copy well i would say i think this um right now everybody should have copies of this but if you don't have foil copies i would say go ahead and pick um pick up your foil versions of um of this z uh battle card and i'm surprised that this frieza this card doesn't really see too much play uh, other than the cell but free frieza resurrected ambition these yo these are going for four dollars for each copy non-foil then you have the foil versions they're going for about seven to eight bucks for each foil version i'm actually really surprised about that but um because this card is one one is green and two um not seeing too much play because greens doesn't see too much play but yeah man if you just you know if you guys get this in your um in your packs go ahead hold on to them and uh sell them if you can but uh yeah they are up there high high priced all right i'm looking over the tape on the hero revive because you know duval 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 our reigning champion two-time reigning champion uh was playing this in his um his um crimson warrior goku deck 
and um, yeah, Tapion, uh, the hero revived. They they jumped up in price just a tad, and I'm pretty sure they were just. Let's see the history on this real quick. Just before, yeah, on the fourth. Uh, I think that was Saturday. No, 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 no. That was uh, that was yesterday. Yeah, on Sunday. They were just a dollar or two. They were just a dollar or two for each copy. And now they actually double it up in price. They're about, granted they're four or five bucks each, but this card was never this price before um, until, you know, this past weekend and Duval is showing off the power of this card. And uh, yeah, three cost blue unison, who knew? Not boo, not the boo unison, but Tapion the hero revived, uh, double up in price because of the, you know, our national champion. But yeah, great card, still draws your card, but I uh, and boosts up your leader attack also. So that's actually pretty good also. But yeah, let's continue. We have Trunks Calamity Challenger. They're going for, oh, this is nearly bought out. One, we have one lowest for seven bucks. That's moderately played, but near mint, near mint copies right now are for 12 bucks for each Trunks Calamity Challenger. And they're from Cross Spirits and Cross Spirits was kind of booty cheeks kind of booty cheeks but you know oh what do you know uh majin boo well boo pose are you know eight dollars each let's i mean i mean we're right here guys we might as well go over the card eight dollars for each copy uh of boo pose let's see how much the foil ones are you know about eight to nine yeah eight nine bucks for each boo pose. all right anyway we wasn't focusing on the card but yeah trunks are about what seven dollars like i said um uh, no, they're about twelve or eleven dollars for each copy for uh trunks. Um SS4 Gogeta Indomitable Might. Um shout out to George. He told me to go over this card. Um near mint foils are going for about nine bucks right now. Yeah, about nine bucks for near mint foils. This is just the SR version of this card, but the SPR version, I think, is just the same, about the same price. Yeah, uh near mint's about like what nine, ten bucks. So if you can just go ahead and pick up the SPR version because they look they just look better. Um, and uh, one of my S, I played against that SS4 player, this um, Gogeta player, this past weekend, and he did play a copy of this card within his deck. So, uh, yeah, uh, I, I mean, generically, it's still a good, great card, but uh, yeah, I'll say go ahead and pick this card up. And yeah, I think this card is going to be really good in the future because it requires your leader be red or black specifically the black sand um i think black next set might be might be pretty good guys so i think go ahead and pick up um indominal mites all right let's go ahead uh supreme kai of time guardian of space time this car is being teched you didn't see that <laughs> it's my my uh my pizza order um, um supreme kai of time guardian of space time uh, this card is being teched out in um, the new Gohan, the blue Gohan deck. Um, if you have five or less cards in your hand, when this card is used in the combo, this card gains 5k power for the battle. So that is the main focus on this card. It's first auto, not its second. But the first auto is basically becoming a 10k combo piece for free. It's basically like a deluge. Um, yeah, this card just went up just for that, um, for that reason. And... Um, Regular copies are going for about twelve to fifteen uh, dollars. Then you have the foil version. The foil version is going for damn near seventeen to twenty dollars for each foil version. But um, yeah, that's that's actually up there for uh, some go uh, some Gohan uh, support. Now we're going for the Black Smoke Dragon. Um, this card is just everybody knows Black Black um, Black Smoke Dragon. This card is just amazing for what it does. Um, no surprise it's 17 dollars lowest and highest price right now is about 23 bucks for each copy i'm pretty sure this past weekend it was a solid 20 dollar card and i think it's died down um just a tad bit but um if you have not have your copies of black smoke i would say please 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 get you a copy of black smoke dragon um you will not regret it because this card is just really that good all right, um, now we're just going to go over all the Gohan SGRs real quick. Sun Gohan Power Re um, Reclaim. This is the blue Gohan. Solid $23 lowest. Uh, that's, he's, well, he's not a newer, uh, newest, but 
after the $23 one, you know, it was a solid $30 card right there. Um, and all these are good. All every, every single color is good, but you know, it just depends on the playability of the card right now in this meta are nine dollars for the black um sun gohan one this card is a really really solid one too um pretty good the green one right now is going for about lowest price 13 bucks they're going for 13 between 13 and 15 dollars for the green sun gohans and lastly we have the yellow one um it's going about four or five bucks not too shabby for the that one. Oh yeah, for the red one also. The red one's at a pretty decent price also. Lowest is about 13 and high is about $15 for each. Uh, red Gohan. Then we have the Sun Goku and Vegeta Immortal Rivalry. This is the SPR version. This card goes in the, um, the, the Gohan deck. And I don't know, did the Crimson Warrior players play this card? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if they play this or not, but yeah, this card is going for, oh, this card has actually been bought out. Mm. Huh. Well, there you go, guys. SPR versions. There's only one seller of this card. Um, now, I think, yeah, I can see why. Yeah, this card has just been bought out, you guys. Uh, yeah, $13. <laughs> uh, t about, yeah, about $13 for each copy. And uh, after that, who knows how much... Um, they are. Uh, we have beers, airy annihilators. This card is going about seven dollars. Granted, this card just got reprinted. <laughs> this card is a brand new card that just got reprinted this past weekend, uh, within the uh, nationals uh, champ pack set. So, um, I can see this card actually staying about five dollars. Just a little, I can see this card going like down just a tad bit since it just got a reprint. So I have a reprint versions somewhere around here, but um, yeah, great card to pick up anyway. If you don't have copy, we'll try to look over the price of the champ pack one later down the road. I want to get on TCG player. All right, and lastly, we have well, not lastly, but uh, second to last, we have Pickle the Infiltrator. These this card right here, this card went jumped up in price. All right, um, this past weekend before Nats even started, right. This card was a lowest $45 this past weekend. Now each copy is a damn near $20 card because it's uh you know, it doesn't have an SPR version of it. And, you know, I'm pretty sure they played four copies of this in their Crimson Warrior Goku deck. And that's just how good this card is. Um, I think it can give itself barrier and has dual attack and, or you can just like draw a card and still have dual attack deflect really really decent um uh, battle card and um it's actually bought out also so if you do randomly pull this card i mean hey man you just made yourself some money you know what i'm saying twenty dollars for each copy of piccolo the infiltrator really good card to get and lastly sun gohan beyond the ultimate this card has gone up in price um yeah, this card is, is damn near a four hundred dollar card now. We have two sellers for selling it for about uh, three seventy five, and after that, we have a three eighty, then four hundred dollars for each copy of the Sun Gohan Beyond the Ultimate. You know what I'm saying? Beast Gohan SCR. But that is it, guys. If you like what you see, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you saw me this past weekend, you know, leave a comment down below and just say what's up, guys. And um, you know. We have a whole nother year. We have like a, a down season of three months. Then the uh, the power hour thing uh, will show, I'm pretty sure, our new schedule for uh, regionals. But other than that, guys, that is it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.